Okay, so here's the uh, moment of truce on the uh, science project and removing rust via electrolysis. So the parts, the parts have been in there um, overnight, and I'm going to pull them out and just see what happens. Kind of cool. Uh, I'm actually not expecting a lot because I, I've made a couple slight errors, but um, yeah. So here we go. Okay, so please know that I've already uh, unplugged the battery charger, so I can't shock the heck out of me, which usually stuff like that really happens to me. And I also dropped the uh, bolt and washer. I don't know where it's at. This water is kind of yucky um, from all the... Wow, this sucker was really rusty. Um, but, look at this. Look at this. I mean, it looks pretty doggone clean. I see some surface rust in here um, still, so maybe it should sit a little bit longer, but look at that bad boy compared to what it was. It looks actually quite nice. Washer too. Um, this guy was the worst though. Let's see what he's... Alright. So... What I don't know, I think one of the mistakes I made was that I didn't degrease it well enough before I just plunked them in. I should have um, degreased them much better because I know this electrolysis won't work on paint and grease. Um, so, yeah, that might have been my fault on this experiment. I'm just going to have to do it all over again. Um, But, with that said, the bottom of this thing was like solid brown when I put it in there. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, I can't tell just yet if that's, if, there, if the rust is gone, if that's just grease, dirt buildup, or what that is. Um, so, it uh, looks like my science project is not really conclusive. Um, I think I'll get the other... Um, brackets, degrease them, and do this all over again, and um, so I can have a better, better, um, I don't know, a better conclusion. Um, so, but, I don't know, I mean, it looks pretty good, really. Yeah, so my, my results aren't conclusive. I can't validate how well electrolysis works. I'm thinking it does actually kind of do a good job, um, and... Yeah, so, you know, okay, so, ingredients, you need, and all this, the reason why I did this is because I've got a long way to go on my restoration, and rather than me trying to spend time sandblasting, you know, small parts like this, or grinding down so I can finish, you know, why not let these guys soak in an electrolysis bath um, to remove rust while I'm doing other projects? I don't need this bracket tomorrow, so if it takes, you know, five days to clean this up thoroughly uh, via electrolysis, fantastic. You know, that's five days on my head, right? So, um, and it's, it's using things that you have around the house. A battery charger. If you don't have a battery charger, you can use a phone charger, for God's sake, or a battery itself. Um, you need um, an anode. This guy, this is, I used rebar. Uh, it's hooked to the tip. I just used, dude, look at all that crap. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let's see if I can take this off. Um, I just used a rebar, and I don't know if the camera can pick all this up, but it's got a whole, it's got a boatload of crap on it. And so what it does is, with the positive um, uh, connected to this, all the rust and debris um, basically is attracted. And this is the sacrificial piece. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's kind of quite nasty. So it basically leaves the, the negative side and is attracted to the positive side. 
but water, you need a bucket. You know, I just had some lumber, I wanted to hang it, so I got a, a steel hanger to hang the parts in. I hooked the, the negative to the hanger, the positive to the, to the rebar, and um, let it do its job. Uh, oh, well, in the water, you need uh, one tablespoon of um, armor, and ham armor hammer uh, washing soda, not baking soda, washing soda. And uh, apparently, it does a pretty doggone good job. Uh, so, that's kind of it. Supplies that you have around the house. I don't have a blasting booth yet. So, I'm going to play. I'm going to play with this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, removing rust via electrolysis. Uh, so, you know, I don't know, project, science project fail? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to have to try again to get, you know, better results, I think. But all in all, I think this is a good uh, home remedy uh, for stuff that I have around the house. So, removing rust via electrolysis. So, thank you for watching the Texas Size Mini Project from Lone Star Mini. Bye just now.